Okay, let's go guys. What I want you to do is, first of all, we're gonna warm up those, open up those hips. First and foremost, the most important part. Oh, what's happening here? Are we having some technical difficulties? Yes, we are, because I turned it Line off. in. I turned it off. Here we go, here we go. So, I know everyone's laughing at me, I know. It's been a long time, now I'm tripping over weights. So, big circles with the knees, let's open up those hips. Nice and wide before we hit the floor. Imagine you have a hurdle that you're going over, so lift that leg. I can still see you all laughing at me. Thanks guys, this is what happens when you do live. <laughs> it can all go wrong. <laughs>
soften that knee. The standing leg is not locked. Last one. Lunges straight down, down, up. Now doing supersets or triceps, obviously the muscle is fatigued from the first exercise. So remember, you can do body weight if you need to. Drop the weight, drive it up, straight in. Come on, get low, get low. Spine, is your back flat? Is your butt back? Bend this front knee. Three, two, one, rest. Yes. Legs should be feeling it, guys. So the single leg deadlift, we're focusing first on that posterior chain, okay? Back, glutes, hamstrings. So make sure you imagine you're trying to push open the door with your butt. Whenever you hinge forward, think about the whole body, your upper body. You have a broomstick along your back. The broomstick can't bend. It's made out of wood. When you hinge back, your spine stays flat. Your head stays, your eyes stay at floor level. Just think about it, want to keep the whole spine straight. When you're doing this, is the whole of your spine straight? No, it's not, so keep that head down slightly. Ready? Yes, Seema. Round two, one more set and then we move on. It's a tricep and it's um, single leg work, so we're only doing two sets. Reset yourself. Muscle memory should kick in, so second round always feels better. Leg back, three, two, one, here we go. Slow, two, three, drive up and squeeze. Don't just stand, squeeze the butt and exhale. Exhale, good. Let's focus on that balance, that core stability. Not just a good exercise, but a challenge that mind to muscle connection. Last one, and then I want you to go straight back, no pause, lunge it. Eight reps, in, seven, six, come on, let's go. Five, four more, knee down, three, two, ready for that burner. Straight in, straighten that back. Check yourself, is your back rounded? Retract the shoulders. Now sit lower with me. Come on, even lower with me. Three, two, one. Woo! How's it feeling? Yes, uh, I see burn, I see burn. You see, can you see the sweat? Can you see the sweat? Okay, are you ready? Next leg. Three, two, one, let's go. Straight down. Two, three. This is my naughty leg. It's so naughty, but it's so good. My mind is in control, so stay in control. Four more. If you wobble, don't stress, reset. And again, two more. Last one. Step back lunges, let's go for it. Can you do it, no break? Put all the weight in that heel. Come on, four more. Three, two, one. Exhale, shine. Straight in. Can you get down with me? Come on, drive it. If you need to come up, just come up. Nelly there. Three, two, one. Rest. Yes. You've completed your first tricep. So what's the tricep? Three exercises back to back. Then you recover. Next we have a superset. What's the superset? Two exercises back to back, I hear you say. Oh, I'm being nosy, please outside. So we have a squat, front squat. So if you have dumbbells, front rack position, try not to bend your wrists. You see that? Protect your wrist, solid hold, and try and keep the wrist straight. Time under tension, which means recruiting those muscle fibers for a bit longer. So we're going down slow for three, driving up for one. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two, kettlebell. Now the kettlebell swing. 
When you do a kettlebell swing, don't think of a squat. Think of like the deadlift movement, the hinge at the hips, okay? When it comes up, all the power comes from the hips. If you feel your arms get fatigued, we haven't switched on the hips, we're not powering from the hips. These hands, when we do a kettlebell swing, are just your tools to help you hold the kettlebell. They are not your tools to help you lift the kettlebell. So, stand with the kettlebell just slightly in front of you, foot distance, feet either side. Before you pick it up, hinge the hips back, roll the shoulders back, lean it slightly, and come up, thrust at the hip. But say I haven't got a kettlebell, don't worry, if you have a dumbbell, and you feel confident, only if you feel confident in the swing, you can do it with a dumbbell. Same move. But say I haven't got a dumbbell, it's okay if you have a band and you want to practice the movement, especially if you're a beginner to using kettlebells. You have the fingers like this, peel, peel, peel. Back, drive it up. Focus on the flat back. If you can't get that technique right, what we're going to do, we're going to do good mornings instead. Hands up. Same movement as before, but both feet coming down and up, down and up. Those are your options, let's get on with it. Or if you want to continue the squats, you can. If you have no weights, I need more intensity. So whilst we do eight reps, you're going to stay down in the squat pulse. Three, two, one, slow down, slow, two, three, up. Sit, drive up, slow, two, sit, drive up, slow, four more, three more, exhale as you stand, squeeze that butt as you stand, squeeze that core, three, two, one, and up, good, get the kettlebell, or remember your option, you can do good mornings, 16 reps, here we go, one, Shoulders back. We need to thrust the hips. Power, power in the hips. Exhale each time. You should be breathing. Three, two, one. Hips back, take it down. Remember your option. Good mornings if you have no weight or kettlebell. When you do your good mornings, hinge the hips back. Drive up. Okay, this move that I gave you to practice with the band, if you feel that your back is arching too much, please don't do it. Let's focus on those good mornings, flat back. Ready for two more rounds. My butt has lifted about 10 inches after that tricep. Good, you should feel it. All that blood going to that muscle, feeling that pump. Okay, we're gonna be doing two, three sets of this by the way. It's only a superset. Three, two, one, let's go. Slow. And up. Back. Two, three, up. And again, down. Two, three, up. Four more. Sit. Drive the knees out. Remember, if you have bands, you should be doing it with bands. Or your pulses. Last one. Two, three, and up. Get ready for the swings. Remember, no kettlebell. You're doing good mornings instead. Or if you want to practice the movement with a band, you can. Here we go. Up. Two. Shoulders back. Spine flat. Really power through those hips. Come on, eight more. Eight, seven, six, come on, five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you ever find, so that weight, I could go heavy with that weight, it's not heavy enough for what I wanna do, but guess what? I'm making it harder, I'm making it harder. It's imperative that you understand that when you're doing especially strength training, you should be thinking nothing else apart from the muscle you're working. There's a scientific fact that when you think about it, 
you recruit more muscle fibers. So make sure you're thinking, what am I working here? How, what do I feel? How can I intensify that movement, okay? As long as it feels safe for you. If there's anything that is too challenging, you're, it's not accessible to you yet, just modify, strip it back, get the basics first, and then you work up towards it. Are you ready? Last round. Yes, M's. Load it up. If you have heavier weights, I challenge you. Let's go up if you're confident. Here we go. Down, two, sit, and push. Down, turn up now. Sit and push. Down, two, sit, and push. Halfway, two, sit, four more, let's go. Heels down, hips back, but the chest stays up. Exhale as you stand. Are you squeezing that butt? Down, two, sit, and push. Kettlebell swings. Four, good mornings. When you do your good mornings, hips and knees bend. Knees bend slightly, hips all the way back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so this I don't really feel nothing. When I create that tension, although you can't see it much, create that tension, it feels heavier, equivalent of having eight kilo weights. So you can row, row, down, push up. If you have no weights, let's practice just those push ups. You have the options of the knees. Remember, if you are someone who does, who needs the progression of push ups on your knees, if your knees are too close, you are not doing the movement. You need to take your knees back. A good way to check that they're in the right position, start on your tummy, and then push yourself up, okay? Another way to practice the push-ups is just starting from the floor. If you're a beginner, let's do this today. Push up and down. So in the time that we're doing the rows, you do your push-ups. Are you ready? Yes, I hear you say. I'm sweating, you see? You need to hold them and then strength training. So I guess you can start the strength training. Here we go. Roll the shoulders back. Remember, hinge the hips. Feet, hip fists apart. There's a door behind you. You need to close it. Push your butt back. Can you see the spine is flat? Shoulders away from the ears. Row to your hips. So we have in, down, in, Rock, plank, chest, foot, row, row, down, back, now slow, control, take your time when you jump back, it's not the speed of a burpee, even though I know you love burpees, 
Yes, Joanna. Yes, Lulu. I know my Lulu has got her heavy ass weights. I've seen your weights. Yeah, I know you, you go beast mode like me. You go beast mode. So let's go even more beast mode on the last round. Your last one should always be the best. In your head, you think, come on, empty the tank. I haven't got to do it again. Are you ready? Yes, I hear you say. Get pumped. Stand on the floor, practice your push-ups. Three, two, one, here we go. Row. Squeeze. Release. Come down. Do that control. Squeeze. Squeeze. Even if you have light bottles of water, make them heavy. Make them heavy. Think about the movement. So even if you have light water, look. First live attendance and loving it. Yes, Jen. Well done. Okay. So let's finish with a little bit of core. Because I know you all like core. But can I just say a lot of people, and I've seen, you know, you get it all the time, people saying, come on, I need to work my core, I need to do some crunches, everyday crunches. It's the only way for the core. No, it's not. Please know that you can work the core or you work the core without having to target it. Firstly, any move you do above your head. So a heavy ass shoulder press, how do you think these weights go above your head? If you had no core muscles or strength, a lot of people say I've got a weak core, a weak core, but you take for granted, this is on, switched on and engaging if you're lifting a heavy load above your head. It has no choice. So core work, is always happening. Heavy squat, what do you think is happening? Core work is always happening. Heavy deadlift, core work is always happening. I promise you. When I when I was doing um, bodybuilding competitions, and the one time in my life where I could say, yeah, okay, I had decent abs, um, I didn't do not one damn crunch during my training, during my weightlifting training. I didn't do, actually tell you, I did some hanging leg raises, but my main thing, heavy compound, heavy ass compound lifts, that's what I was doing. And I had 
my nutrition was 100% on point and my lifts were heavy, compound moves, and then the abs came out. So don't follow the myth of we need to do crunches every day. They still build the strength, don't get me wrong. Anyway, enough of the lecture. You're probably all cooled down now. So we're gonna do um, crunches V6, coming up with the weight and down. Up with the weight and down. If that's too heavy, you can do this. No weight. Any back problems, please leave your feet on the floor. If you suffer from back problems, especially when you do crunches, you can come up, reach and lower. Too much strain in the neck, remember to switch on the core and you can use your hands, okay? So this is the finisher. Let's do three, three sets, eight reps, short recovery. Three, two, one, here we go. your workout let's do a little stretch hope you enjoyed it apologies for the faff at the beginning but we got there in the end clear your space and let's celebrate the sweat patches deep breath in and out come down nice and wide then hips back hang your body down set your feet wider than your hips too much on the knees, soften them, just slight bend. Let's sway side to side. Release the tension in your back. Good. Walk it in slightly. Step one leg back, just like you did in the end. Warm up, bring that hand inside the knee. And then just push down to the floor. Slide your back leg down. And put my back knee on the floor. Try and open up the chest. If you want a little bit more, go onto your fingers. Hold it there. Shoulders, 
push into the chest, round the back, and then come up, reverse, head up, hips up, and then you can go in circles, or just go wherever you feel is more comfortable. Good, neutral spine, tuck your toes, walk your hands back, turn all the way up, roll the shoulders. One arm across the body, change. Another arm across the body, change. And relax, swing out the arms. Guys, very well done to you. You have completed your Monday workout. Just want to say well done to everybody who has um, been doing the six week Fit Combat Challenge as well. I've seen your comments and your videos and what have you and you've just absolutely smashed it. If you haven't started it yet, don't worry. Do things in your own time. You can always join whenever you're ready. It stays in the workout bank, so just jump on it and give it a go, okay? Remember, it's no competition with anyone. It's just you versus you, just being the better self that you were yesterday, okay? So well done for all your energy. Thank you for joining this evening. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening and let's start the week as we mean to go on. So get at it tomorrow. If you're feeling sore tomorrow, don't worry. DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. It's a normal feeling. It's a reaction to the action, okay? A reaction to the, the, to the work that your body's done. Um, it's normal pain, embrace it, enjoy it. I like it, I'm like, ooh, ah, ooh, I work out, ooh. Yeah, so embrace it. And um, if you need to, tomorrow, if, it's, if a heavy workout is too much, do some stretching, still do do something. Something is better than nothing. Anyway, enough of the Fay lecture. Um, thank you, thank you, Gemma. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you, Kelly. It was supposed to be a rest day, <laughs> Steph. We rest, we rust. Um, well done if you're doing this on your rest day. Have your rest tomorrow if you need it. Um, should have not had the fish finger sandwich. <laughs> well, at least you've... Um, you, you worked out after that. Don't worry about it. It's done. Well done, Jenny. Well done, Nevin and Heather and Sharon, uh, Kelly, uh, Tisha, Carol. I know, yeah, Letitia's here. Um, well done. Nice pain. Good, exactly. Well done, Kate. Well done, everyone. Sorry if I've missed your names. Anyway, over and out. Have a good night. Bye. Don't forget to follow me at Faze Fitness page. Bye.